Well, the inmate who was found hanging in his cell was Zachary Goldson. I talked with his mother today, Christina, and she says that she's shocked and appalled and very surprised that his death was ruled a homicide this week. She just simply wants to know what happened to her only son. We know that Zachary Goldson assaulted a corrections officer on October 5th. Nobody is disputing that, but when he wound up dead less than an hour after that assault, a lot of people had questions. What's your name, Trash? You're right, Goldson. Speak up, I can't hear you. Goldson. Uh. This is video from an officer's dash cam recorded early in the morning, October 5th. Investigators say minutes before, Zachary Goldson assaulted an officer and tried to take his gun. Hey. What is wrong with you, you stupid? I'd like to break your neck right now. Yeah. According to the coroner's investigation notes, 21 minutes after this video was taken, Zachary Goldson was found hanging by a sheet in his jail cell. This week, the coroner ruled Goldson's death homicide by strangulation. Dr. Judith Varno writes it would be physically impossible for a 6 1 individual to reach the sprinkler to tie the knots the way it was secured. Now, the BCI and state investigators are looking into this as well. They have not concluded their investigation. We came to the sheriff's office today for comment. They would not go into specifics, but they told us they are waiting on that BCI investigation to be concluded. And they said that they are, they believe that the coroner's uh, determination is politically motivated and they'd rather rely on the facts from state investigators. We're live in Brown County tonight. Jason Law, not on your side.